I find it fascinating that the dynamic features of organelles are closely related to their function. As some organelles change shape and undergo cycles of fission and fusion, some of their features could become smaller than the diffraction limit of light. And so this really underscores the need for super resolution microscopy. Unfortunately though, many of the super resolution imaging techniques that exist are not live cell compatible. And so the first uh, goal of my PhD was to tackle this problem. In Professor Manley's lab, we use a fluorescence-based super resolution imaging technique called single molecule localization microscopy, or SMLM. And so the way this works is that we, we label a, a, a structure with a fluorescent probe and then use light to um, allow single molecules to stochastically turn on or emit photons and then turn off. And this, this switching between, or the cycling between on and off states is called um, photo switching or blinking. And so we use the photon emission from single molecules to find their positions. And once we have uh, the molecular positions of many molecules, we superimpose them to form a high resolution image. I knew that vital stains had been used in biology since the turn of the last century. And I also knew that a combination of uh, uh, chemical structure and microenvironment in influence uh, fluorophore photo switching. And so we thought if we, we could use these uh, vital stains or site-specific stains for SMLM while simultaneously exploiting the intrinsic chemistry of the cell um, to avoid uh, the use of any toxic buffers for photo switching. I suspected that if we screened enough commercial probes of different chemical structures in different cellular compartments, we could find at least a few that could photo switch without the need for a toxic chemical buffer. Um, I also suspected that um, these, these site-specific stains could uh, be superior for SMLM as compared to labeling proteins with fluorescent proteins since they could um, uh, label organelles at a much higher density and also yield uh, many more photons than fluorescent proteins. So I evaluated the performance of about uh, 30 different site-specific dyes in several different uh, cellular compartments and found many that work well for live cell SMLM. I also te tested different uh, imaging buffers and found that many uh, of these site-specific dyes can actually work without the need for a toxic buffer and, and uh, photo switch in, in just a standard um, live cell compatible imaging buffer. So this new approach is, is interesting for the future because now we're able to take high resolution images in living cells of many different organelles, for example, the mitochondria and the plasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. And with this new tool in hand, um, we, we really paved the way for our next study involving mitochondrial fission. And so now we can capture the constriction dynamics of mitochondria with relatively uh, high spatial and fast temporal resolution. And so this is really exciting. Mm -hmm.